Yeah, man. Um, I grew up um, downtown area, Sacramento, um, Natomas area, and then even like uh, Rancho Cordova area a little bit. But um, yeah, uh, I've always been an artist, you know, ever since I was damn near like three. Okay. Um, you know, I was that kind of kid drawing on the walls type shit, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, that, that's always been something I've been uh, interested in. Um, you know, I was like a quiet kid, you know, I was always at home just chilling uh, and just sitting there for hours drawing and drawing. Was anybody else in your family uh, doing drawing or like art? Are they into that? Or yeah. just kind of- uh, one of my older cousins um, in uh, Yuba City and like Marysville, he's a tattoo artist out there. And uh, he's really good, man. You know, I always looked up to him growing up. Um, you know, I would always see his drawings around the house and I would just yeah. try to copy him. And uh, yeah, he he really inspired me when I was younger. Did you uh, did you attend any uh, art school or anything like that? Or after high school or you just... Um, yeah, after high school, I went to uh, Sac City for a little bit. And um, that's actually where I um, found out that I loved using charcoal. Mm. And um, yeah, one of my uh, teachers, uh, her name's uh, Joya Fonda, and um, yeah, she's a she was an amazing teacher. You know, um, she really inspired me to really, um, you know, start using that medium. And um, I don't know, I picked up on it really quick. I was like one of the best in the class, you know. So yeah, I was like, man, I'm gonna stick with this, you know. And in high school, you took some art classes, probably. You probably took like the basic, or you know, a couple yeah, of yeah, classes. just all the, all the basic art classes. Um, but you didn't. I mean, like, I always had this argument because I mean, I'm gonna consider myself a little bit of artist, not not on your level at all. But I do love like sketching, drawing, graffiti, little thing like that, tagging and stuff. And like, I always saw people in art art classes. I'm like, yeah, but they're not gonna teach you how to be creative. You know what I mean? Because like, that has to come from like you know right here. You know what I mean? So do you agree with that? No, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I mean, even like when I went to uh, Sac City for a little bit, I just, I dropped out because, um, you know, um, I just didn't, they were just telling me what to draw and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, you know, I kind of already know all this, you know, so I kind of just want to do what I want to do. Draw this apple, man. Can you draw this apple? It's shaded. Yeah. So I was just like, man, I don't want to do all that kind of stuff. You know, I was like, I know what I want to draw. I know what I want to do. And is is be an artist, you know? And like you said, it's, it's coming from the heart and, and, I don't know. That's just like what I really want, you know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like the musicians that like, you know, they can go to music music school, but so most of these musicians, these hardcore ones that we know are like, you know, rappers or anybody, you know, pianists or whatever, they just have it in them to sit there and dedicate their time, you know, to the craft. You know what I mean? So when they go to a music class, and what really can they teach them? You know, it's just a lot of it's theory, right? It's just theory and exactly. a bunch of principles. And I think you can't take away from somebody like having that passion for it. And then also like, you know, all that, cause you're drawing, right? You're on your own. You know what I mean? No one's there. Yeah. You're not, you're not you know-